We're installing the Backgrounds Mega Pack for Football Manager 2024. Now, this is a guide for the full version of FM24 on either Windows or Mac through Steam, Epic or Game Pass. If you're playing FM Console, Touch or Mobile, then this guide will not be the one for you. But if you do find this guide easy to follow and need help installing other essentials, check out our How to Install Essentials playlist for more videos. The process to install these background packs is pretty simple, but deciding which pack or packs you want and how to optimise them can take a little bit of time. That's going to be the bulk of this video, honestly. Uh, you'll need the FM24 Backgrounds Mega Pack page on the Sort It Out SI website open, uh, which is on screen now, in order to follow along with this guide. You'll also need a couple of folder locations as well uh, to easily install all of your backgrounds. Uh, all of the locations and downloads and folders and everything like that will be linked in the description of this video. Uh, in order to optimise the backgrounds that you've downloaded, or that you will download today, uh, you'll also probably need to download a custom skin, which you have a guide for here on the channel as well, because using the default skin, you don't really see any background, so it's kind of a bit pointless. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that you don't need to be a premium member of the Sort It Out SI uh, website. Uh, you do get access with a regular free account, which is quick and easy to sign up to. All of the downloads are available with a regular account. So, uh, in the background section on the website, there are five different mega packs that you can download. I'm going to download all of them today, but you don't have to, depending on which backgrounds you actually want, and we'll go through how you decide which packs you want through this video. Uh, the different packs cover backgrounds for people, fans, nations, competitions, cities, stadiums. You can pick and choose which packs you want, you can download them all, it is completely up to you, but you do need to download a skin as well to really optimise the background. So, if you have chosen a skin that is very much optimised for backgrounds and has them on every page, I'll show you an example of that later. It's got transparent backgrounds on the full screen, so you, you're going to want to download as many packs as you want, or whichever packs you want, really. Uh, but if you are using a skin that doesn't have transparent backgrounds, and doesn't optimise a background on every page, and you just want the images for stadiums, for example, on the club, club info screen, then I'd recommend just downloading the stadium background pack, and I'll show you which part of that pack you want to put in uh, to your backgrounds folder when we get there later on in the video. Either way... Once you've done all your downloads, you'll have a download section of, of your computer that might look similar to this, depending on which ones you've downloaded. But either way, you'll have a pack that needs extracting like this, regardless of what you've downloaded. So the location you need next is slightly different, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac. Uh, we'll cover both. First, if you're on Windows, like me, uh, head to My Documents, Sports Interactive, and then Football Manager 2024. This is the main user data folder for the game and houses everything from graphics and skins to save games, tactics, edited data files, everything is all in here. Um, the folder by default is in the same location whether you've installed uh, via Steam, Epic or with Game Pass. Uh, but on Mac the folder is that you need is usually hidden by default uh, so you need to open the finder, click go from the menu bar, uh, press the option or alt key to bring up the library or go to finder or go to folder, everything like that. Basically what you need to do, you go to application support, sports interactive, Football Manager 2024, or you copy and paste the location from the description of this video, and that's the easiest way to do it. So open Finder, click Go, go to Folder, paste it in, you're good to go. Right, once you are in that folder, the process is the same. But if you can't find that folder path, you can double check in game that it hasn't been changed from the default location. Uh, to do this, you go to the Preferences menu in game, uh, click on Advanced Options and scroll down to General and a setting called Location. Uh, the file path shown here is the user data folder, but you do obviously have to have booted the game at once to create the folders, so by doing that, they should appear if they weren't there already. Okay, you want to go, when you're in that right location, you want to go to your Graphics folder. Uh, and if you don't have a graphics folder, just simply create a new folder and call it graphics. Uh, my graphics folder looks a bit like this because I've got faces, logos, kits, etc. already installed. And if you want to install them yourselves, check out the How to Install Essentials playlist for more details on all of those different things. Uh, if you head back to your downloads page, you simply need to extract all of the packs that you've downloaded using whichever software that you have. I use 7-zip, but others are available uh, basically just use whatever you want and extract them and you're good to go. Once you've done that, you'll have a load of different packs and subfolders ready to move across into your graphics folder. In that graphics folder, I recommend creating a backgrounds folder and moving all of the mega packs into there to keep them all together so they don't get mixed up with your kits and your faces and your logos and everything like that. Uh, once all those folders are moved across, you're ready to go, 
I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up and remove one extra layer of subfolders and get the backgrounds folder looking a little bit later like this. Once you are ready, we need to head back into the preferences menu within the game and once again select advanced options. Make sure that all is selected from the drop down and scroll down to the section called skin. Uh, we need to ensure that the use caching to decrease page loading times is switched off and that the reload skin when confirming changing changes in preferences is switched on. If you've already installed other graphics, these options may already be selected like they are for me. So either way, hit confirm or reload skin. But pause there because we're going to talk about skins right now. If you are using the default skin, it will look like this and it will not look particularly great because the default skin isn't optimized for backgrounds. The only part of the skin that is transparent, which is new for FM24, is the menu bar down the left hand side. And there might be a bit of a border around the rest of the screen as well. And that doesn't look fantastic. And I'm not sure why it's like that. It didn't used to be. So what you need to do is download another skin, which is optimized for backgrounds. And there will be a number of different skins available. You can basically check out the skins viewer on the Sort Out SI website uh, to see which one takes your fancy. Uh, we've got a video on how to install skins as well. So check that one out. I've already mentioned it. Uh, but basically I've got one already installed which I'm going to use now to show off the different types of background. Uh, so if you need to change your skin, you head back into the preferences menu and look for the skin option. If you're on the advanced, it will be right at the top. Uh, change the drop down from the default football manager skin to whichever skin you are wanting to use. I am going to use the preset skin here to show off the different backgrounds. You can use whatever skin you like. Right, let's load that up and have a look. You can see now that the skin has loaded, uh, and that's the preset skin that's loaded. It's got a nice, subtle transparency on all of the back on all of the pages that allows the backgrounds to be seen without dominating the skin. So some skins will have just the big background, and it will kind of be hard to see what's going on screen. But this has got a nice, subtle transparency that peeks through behind things, so it looks really good and really effective. Uh, we can also go into a club um, and go through, well, cycling through clubs and competitions. Uh, to see the different backgrounds and got player screens, staff screens as well. Uh, you can also go into a club and click on the stadium and that will show the different types of images available for stadiums. So inside, outside, the city view, everything like that. You can see them all just by cycling through some of the skins. Now, if we were to switch back to a different skin, uh, one that doesn't isn't really optimized for background but does have the inside stadium views which a lot of people like on the club info screen uh, we'll have a look at what that looks like and then I'll show you which parts of the mega packs that you need to achieve that view uh, right I'm gonna switch back to the FM's Veyaket skin which is the one I'm personally using for FM 24 and I probably really butchered the name it's German I'm not particularly good at German but you can see from the club info screen that it's got this really nice view of the stadium for each club. So this is the stadium inside pack that fits really nicely. If you've just installed the stadium pack completely, unfortunately the default style menu bar which this skin uses is still transparent. So you're going to see the rest of the stadium backgrounds seeping through the menu bar and around the edge of the screen like they did with the default skin. And you want to really avoid that because it doesn't look great. You can't really navigate through the bar very well and it can cause a few issues if you're trying to just navigate around the game. So if you want to avoid having that issue, you want to just download the Stadium Mega Pack, as we've said, the Stadium Background Mega Pack, sorry, as we've said, but you'll also only want to use the Stadium's Inside folder from that pack to give you just the Stadium images that the skin is using. Uh, so if your skin that you're using is similar to this, you just want this one folder rather than the whole Mega Pack and all of it. So depending on your choice with skins, uh, the background mega packs are very much down to personal preference of what you want to install and what you don't. If you have a skin that utilizes the full background packs, then go for it. Or download them all if you've got the space to. They're really good, great pieces of work, really enhance the game if you've got a skin that emphasizes and optimizes those backgrounds. If your skin just has the stadium image on the club info screen, for example, then downloading just the stadium mega pack and using just the stadium insides folder, so just moving that one into your graphics folder, and nothing else will be all you need to achieve that and optimize the skin of your choice. Now, hopefully you've now installed uh, whichever background packs you want for FM24. Let us know in the comments if you were successful and which packs and skins you've gone for. As always, we have more install guides here for all the other essentials for Football Manager 2024. They'll be on a playlist on screen very shortly, as will a playlist for all of our league guides that we've been working on throughout FM23 and continue to do so for FM24. These provide a great overview of the playable leagues in each nation and give you some save ideas if you're unsure who to manage or where. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. This has been 
uh, the install guide for backgrounds. And I will see you on the next video.